What is up guys? Welcome to your 30th and hopefully the last tutorial that I want to talk about concerning arrays. Now in this lesson I actually just want to teach you guys about a lot of cool tricks that you can do using arrays. So the first thing that we need is of course in a couple a couple arrays examples. I'm gonna make two arrays. One is called boys and one is called girls. Now boys is gonna be Bucky, um, Tony, and I'll just add one more, Tommy. So now, as you can see, Bucky, Tony, and Tommy in the boys' arrays, and the girls' array is going to be, just think of some girls' names, Lisa, it's a nice name, Jenny, and let's get a dirty one, like Skanky, you gotta throw her in there and make things interesting. So basically, we have two arrays right now, each have three people in them. Boys has Bucky, Tony, Tommy, and girls has Lisa, Jenny, and Skanky, she's my favorite. So what I want to show you guys is this. In addition to all the ways that we can create arrays like this or this, there is an alternative and awesome way that we can create an array. We can basically combine old arrays to form new arrays. So let's go ahead and make a new array called people and say that we want people to have all of these people. Bucky, Tony, Tommy, Lisa, Jenny, Skanky. Well what we could do is we can go ahead and type them all in individually or we can just do this boys plus girls now this is going to do is it's going to take all the elements from the boys and girls array and it's going to throw it into a new array called people so go ahead and hit enter and check it out people array now has bucky tony tommy lisa jenny and skanky awesome huh so that is one way that we can create an array. Basically take old arrays and take all the elements and throw into a new array called people. Now in addition to that, we can also kind of do the opposite as well. Say we had this people array and we wanted to, I don't know, remove the boys from it. So let's go ahead and make an array called no boys and we'll set this equal to people minus boys, not always boys just like that so check it out remember the people array was all six people so now what we're doing is saying okay take all the elements that you had in boys and subtract them from people basically so you're only left with the girls now go ahead and hit enter and check it out the no boys is basically all the people minus the boys so only Lisa Jenny and Skanky dang it Skanky so those are basically weird ways that we could use math along with arrays. Remember this, it's not actually adding the arrays themselves, but more of the elements. So there you go, there you have it, and what I want to finish up with is this. The last thing I want to tell you guys about is how to check if certain items are in your array. Now in order to do this, you use something called the include method. So it's basically, I don't even know if I told you guys, oh yeah, the if statement. So let's go ahead and print something out on the screen like, yep, that person is included. Now let's go ahead and add if statement. If girls dot include now after include go ahead and write a question mark now after the question mark this is when you pass in your parameter and the parameter is just a person's name like Lisa so check it out we pretty much saying okay print something out on the screen if girls dot include Lisa pretty much if Lisa is included in this girls array then go ahead and print out yup that person is included so we're going to go ahead and hit enter and remember Lisa is indeed in the girls array so check it out it says that person is included but what if we had a girl that wasn't included and what if her name happened to be Kathy well Kathy isn't in that list so now once we hit enter that code doesn't run we just get back nothing so I know I told you guys that that was the last thing but um I guess I might as well finish off this because I only have like two other things to teach you. Let's go ahead and take a look at that people array real quick. Bucky, Tony, Tommy, Lisa, Jenny, and Skanky. Now, I'm, this is like some really quick things I want to teach you guys. In order to access the first and last items in your array, just go ahead and write the name of your array and then first, which is Bucky, and then in order to access the last item, instead of first, can you guys guess what I'm going to write? Hello last so this 
these properties basically take the first items and the last items in your array and they pretty much uh, output them to you. Now another cool thing that you can do is say you wanted to access the first two people or the first four people. Well the first four people in this array are Bucky, Tony, Tommy, and Lisa. So if we wanted that instead of just writing first we would add a parameter to first which is four. Now this is pretty much saying that we want the first four people in our array. Bucky, Tony, Tommy, and Lisa. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the last thing I want to... I know this is a lot of information, but I promise this is the last thing. If I'm lying, I'm not lying, guys. This is the truth. But I'm going to show you guys how to reverse an array. Go ahead and make an array real quick called Bacon. One, two, three, four, five. How exciting, I know. So now the Bacon array has five elements in it. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, in order to reverse an array... This is probably the easiest thing I ever taught taught you guys. Go ahead and just print it out on screen. Bacon dot reverse. Basically, anytime you want to reverse an array, type the name of your array and add reverse onto it and check it out. It just prints out, well, it should. Wow, what's going on with my dumb thing? Okay, let's try that again. Bacon, one, two, three, four, five. Bacon reverse. 54321. What the heck happened up here? I don't know. That's kind of crazy. Freaking me out. Some ghost letters right there. Or ghost numbers. But anyways, um, actually, you know what? Run this code and tell me guys if you get this too. And uh, if so, then uh, yeah, something weird's going on. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.